please join us to save the dignity of our women and also the lives of our men i saw something quite disturbing a national embarrassment as it were that a woman was stripped naked do you know what not just naked by men in such a humiliating manner but also the women also happen to be part of so demonization of such gender and you know what this woman was stripped naked and paraded across the entire community reason being that that this woman used sex to kill the husband that the husband the husband died in the process of intercourse hear me hear me hear me we need to do a serious campaign today and this campaign is liberty of our people there are women that have suffered this in the stigma of the same living today some are even in detention simply because there was a story that the man they were with died during intercourse I'm here today to be in position to open our eyes and appeal to our people that wherever this woman is, we must share this until he reach the reasoning faculty, understanding of the people that may have been a party to this and also to change our narrative. I will reveal to you why men die during intercourse. Of course, you know it's a common event. I will also show you as a man there are women you must avoid, otherwise, you will register yourself in hell untimely. Of course, you know the issue of men dying during intercourse is not a news. It happens in the hotel most times and usually happens with a side chick. And it happens because the man that took the woman to the hotel. Of course, having made all the necessary payment, he will look out for return on investment. And to have a return on investment, he has to think of how many turnover will I do? And how could he be able to do a turnover to be able to achieve his return on investment? It can only be why the aid of drugs. And you see a lot of men abusing aphrodisiac drugs, Viagra and the rest of them. And what happened? These drugs have been found not to have a protection on the heart. Get this very clear. The same nervous system that controls ejaculation also controls the heart. That sympathetic nervous system. See the implication here. During the time of ejaculation, the heart stops working. I want you just to get it. When during ejaculation, the heart will stop working. And that's why God didn't make the release of sperm to stay for a long time. Otherwise, this experience will become a daily affair in different homes. Immediately after ejaculation, the heart picks up again. And that's why you see the heart rate will start going fast, 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 fast at that point to compensate the apparent stoppage. All right? So it will start, the pulse rate, everything, one may start sweating and all that. This is to recover the body back to normal. And to help recover, immediately after ejaculation, the body releases a chemical messenger or an enzyme that is called phosphodiesterase. It is the phosphodiesterase that will cause blood to flow back into the body so that the penis will go down. But see the implication. Majority of this aphrodisiac tend to act on that particular enzyme. That's why most of them are phosphodiesterase enzyme inhibitor. They stop that very enzyme. The man may say, no, I'm charging well. But if that man has a problem with the heart, the heart is in danger. At that point, the heart is in danger. And most of them may have a heart problem. And before you know it, chest pain or cardiac arrest can happen right there when this thing happened. I will show you today what to do. If you have certain experience during intercourse, you will know what to do immediately. Now, in another occasion, 
some of the men may be in position where the only need on a drug may be concerning the heart, BP, and all those kind of drugs. Some of these drugs interact with these very aphrodisiacs. They also have a negative interaction with aphrodisiacs. Something like nitrate. Nitrate causes hypotension. And when you take drugs like Viagra, it also causes hypotension. And hypotension means the blood pressure will go down. And when you take these drugs, it may reduce the BP in a manner that the heart may not contain it if there is a compromised situation. That very fellow can go. And sometimes, because most of the people that actually engage in this exercise also get into drinking. And when somebody is drunk, he will need a higher dose of those aphrodisiac to be able to achieve erection because alcohol counter the effect of these other drugs. And what will happen? When he's now taking high dose of this drug, the tendency of he may start and may not finish. This woman case is peculiar. It is peculiar because it happened at home. How could she be able to explain she's the only one with the husband? But see, most men are very, very explorative in nature. You may go out there, a friend may say, this one, if you drink, I'm, this one, no bunge, this one, I find that if you drink, I'm, 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 all kind of stuff. If we take this thing without asking questions and drink, some of them can cause vasospasm, sudden narrowing of the heart, and that person can pass. And some men also that have weak erection. On the course of having weak erection, they have to be in position to take one drug. Over the time, it seems as if the drug is not working to their satisfaction. They increase the dose on their own. And overdosing of this very drug can cause severe hypotension and this very person can go. So this particular man died as a result of cardiac arrest but may have started with a chest pain. Hear me and please share this to all men. And a woman and as the wife of a man, please watch out for what I'm going to say right now. In any time as a man, you happen to have a sudden chest pain, sudden level of unusual tiredness during sexual intercourse, do not say, I don't say, make I finish him. You will land inside the hell before you open your eye in a hell day. Some of us will say, after all, something must kill a man. Ta! Must you die there? You don't see any other place to die. Make I finish. You will finish. And when you die, you know when you die that side, no room for repentance. Now straight, you know your room. What are we trying to say here? You need to be in position to have understanding of this. When you have that kind of chest pain, certain level of tiredness, stop. Stop at that point. Find a place to rest. If you have something like vasoprene in the house, put one in your mouth. It can be a saving grace. Men, listen to me. There are women out there that want to show you. They can do it better than your wife. And in that very process, they will be saying, are you not a man harder, harder, harder? Hey, my friend, my people say that a man that women blow fruit or blow trumpet for the person they use backward enter grave. Show me that you're a man. Show me that you're a man. Harder, harder, show me you're a man. My brother, for you to see your children, children, better declare that you are Bob Risky. That I'm no longer a man as a star. Because that thing they say, pound. You are pounding your heart. You are pounding your life there. Yeah. Hada, hada, hada. Before you know it, shh. Where you will land as you open your hand. Not only you will see angels, now you will see the, those ones that will have horn and the tail. Of course, you know the definition of that place. But let us look at this. This is the place of men. That pursue any woman, any way the worker go, he go for her. This is the faith. Just observe. Look at the, the neighbors that he had. The cow and the rest are more intelligent. Look at them just saying, idiots. You don't go say one place, you don't go kill yourself for nothing. This very kind is very lucky that the, the owner of this very cock is not around. 
Otherwise, they would have sleep her naked. And Pame, they have somebody who will kill the husband. No. My dear, don't kill yourself for nothing. Something must kill a man does not mean you will die here. Say, John of Barbicious Men has not given any benefit to anybody. And do you know what? Most people will say, you know, I can go five rounds. Lie of the devil. Lie of the devil. Most of the things you watch in pornography, they are films that are joined together. Averagely for a man to ejaculate following penetration within four and five minutes on average. But you say, no, I will die there. I developed this Dr. Sebe Life app in the United States. And as a matter of fact, I made it free for all Nigerians to be able to liberate our people from health ignorance. Knowing what to do where there is no doctor. You can download it through the Play Store or the Apple Store. If there's an emergency, you can find out what to do in an emergency. You can also see CPR. How, what to do where there is no doctor. And this is what I want to appeal to everyone. Let us share this video to everywhere until it reaches any agency. Holding that woman right now. That woman committed nothing. For those ladies that are there right now, languishing in, in jail or in detention by reason of one story that one man died when they were together. It's not that woman's fault. I tell you and I tell you again and again. It is not that woman's soul. She right now, as we build a healthy nation and a healthy Africa, it's a shame we will not allow to repeat again. God bless you as you share it to all. I remain your friend, Dr. Richard Okoye. See you again.